Death Moon is a fan favorite amongst the community. It is known for being way ahead of its time, and some people argue that it is still the best level in the game a whole two updates and six years later. This level truly revolutionized the game, and absolutely amazed the community then, and it still does today. I am Moldy Macroniacs, but you can call me Moldy, and in this video, we will be taking a closer look at Death Moon and determine how to amaze the community through a level. Remember to subscribe if you like this video and my other content, as it means a lot to me. Now, let's just dive right into this. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm not exactly sure on how to wear this, but what I mean is that Death Moon uses both design, art, and effects in a single level, and it mixes them perfectly. Honestly, I'm not sure what to call this level's style. Some call it design, some call it art, and some call it effect. I would argue that it mixes all three of these together, and that is how it not only stands out, but becomes loved by the entire community, no matter which of these styles they prefer. I am sure we all know that there are a lot of opinions on which style is the best in the community, so if you truly want to amaze all of the community, you should mix numerous types of styles like Death Moon did. Let me try and explain this better. Let's say that the community is divided upon these three styles, design, art, and effects. If you want to satisfy all of the community, and by extension, amaze all of the community, you have to mix these three styles together. Death Moon does a fantastic job at mixing these styles in a way where they are coherent and work. Another level I feel it does something similar, though to a lesser extent, is Layak. For some reason, the community loved this level when it came out, and I believe this reason is because this level mixes both design and theme. While some may argue that theme is not a style, Layak still manages to have a good theme yet also good design. Usually, people go all theme or all design, but Layak finds that perfect mix, something that Death Moon also found with its mix of styles. Point is, Death Moon manages to satisfy a larger portion of the community by using a mix of loved styles that are executed well together, which helps pave the way to amazing the entire community. I don't think I need to say that Death Moon's quality is great, especially for its time. But alongside being of a great quality, it exceeds in other aspects such as having a unique theme. Now hear me out. Not only was Death Moon one of the first red levels, but it isn't exactly hell themed like Cataclysm or Bloodbath. But rather, I would argue that it is more blood themed. While still red, it gives off an entirely different mood than Cataclysm and other hell themed levels, which feel more fiery. Death Moon doesn't feel very fiery like other red levels at the time. Likewise, Death Moon has some extremely fun gameplay, making it also more accessible to the community. I know that people usually say that it is only the extreme demons that get attention, but this level proves otherwise. Easy demons can get attention. Since this level is an easy demon, building on my first point is making the level even more accessible to the community. Similarly, it also has fun gameplay, as I said. However, unlike extreme demons that can have fun gameplay, the gameplay in Death Moon is actually accessible. Adding on to accessibility even more, despite going way past the object limit of both 1.9 and 2.0, Death Moon isn't exactly laggy because those objects are distributed well. Another notable thing about Death Moon is its length and song choice. Longer levels were relatively rare at this time, so seeing a near 3 minute long one was definitely going to bring some attention. Likewise, Death Moon used an original song. While the song was changed numerous times due to disobeying the Newgrounds rules, eventually the real artist of the song uploaded it to Newgrounds. Point is, this song was original, and original songs really make levels stand out, and I am sure we can all agree on that, even today. With all these factors taken into consideration, Death Moon was of a good quality, making it innovative and unique, further astonishing the community. While this level was made by the well-known funny game, it wasn't uploaded by him, but rather it was uploaded by an unknown account called Caustic. This played a big role in amazing the community, which I will now explain. The truth is, uploading a great level by a well-known creator is cool, but seeing a great level by an unknown creator impacts the community much more. If you truly want to further amaze the community, seeing an amazing level by an unknown creator means a whole lot more than an already established creator making an amazing level, since you are not really surprised. It is much more surprising to see an unknown or not so good creator blow away the scene with an amazing masterpiece. Now, let's compare this to Astral Divinity, a level which helped Novel Boy to grow. Now, I am not saying that Novel Boy was entirely unknown, but he certainly wasn't as popular as he is now. Astral Divinity is an astonishing level, and with it coming from a pretty unknown at the time creator like him, it really astonished the community, amazing them even more. 
The point is, seeing an amazing level from an unknown creator hits way harder than seeing an amazing level by an already established amazing creator, and Death Moon did just that. I imagine most of my viewers are not super well known, so if you are looking to get your name out there as well as to amaze the community, making something like Death Moon is going to definitely help you do that. Now I will discuss how to apply these points to your own levels and create a level like Death Moon to amaze the community. So let's discuss a formula that when used can help you to create a level that amazes the community. Firstly, you want to mix some well-known and loved styles. Remember to make sure the level is still coherent though. You don't really want one style to stand out, but rather you want them all to feel like one complete product. Secondly, your level should be of a good quality and be original. There were numerous factors that played a role in achieving this for Death Moon, so use those factors as a starting point if you really need to. And finally, it is much easier to amaze the community when you don't already have super high standards placed on you. So if you do happen to be super well known and have a lot of standards, maybe consider uploading your next masterpiece on an unknown profile without these standards. You can still say you made the level after it gets some traction like Funny Game did. I know most creators probably might not want to do this since it is essentially throwing away creator points, so don't feel forced to do that. In fact, I encourage most creators not to do this. Most of my viewers probably don't even need to, anyway. So while following these three steps, I believe that you can make a level like Death Moon that truly amazes a large portion of the community, perhaps for years to come. In my recent installations of this analysis series, I've been giving some critiques on the levels I discuss, since I believe no level is perfect. However, this level is pretty darn close. Death Moon is a very solid level all the way through. It has fun gameplay and outstanding decoration. If you really want me to state some things I didn't like about this level, it is some very minor gameplay inconsistencies. For example, the hitboxes in this part aren't the greatest. While that is an issue with the game and not this level, it is still something to consider. Likewise, some transitions, especially this one, are quite blind. Nevertheless, this is a demon after all, and one practice run is enough to learn all these. Even without a practice run, none of these deaths are reoccurring, making the gameplay pretty forgiving. So, for a critique section of this video, I didn't really give many critiques. If you have any critiques for this level that I didn't mention, feel free to let me know in the comments. Death Moon really is a great level. It is of a super high quality and I have very little critiques for it. It uses the steps I outlined to amaze the community and it has been a fan favorite for so many years. So, how do you feel about Death Moon? Do you agree with my points? Is there anything I failed to mention that contributed to Death Moon's success? Do you think it didn't succeed? Let me know. I love hearing what you have to say. Remember to subscribe if you like this video and my other content. It means a lot to me. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day, as always.